Welcome back to Prime Time with Anguli, ladies and gentlemen. Manipur Chief Minister N. Bairan Singh almost, just almost resigned yesterday in a move that political observers believed would have had a stabilizing impact of the, uh, on the current spate of violence in the state. But of course, he later announced his decision to not resign, apparently because the community there did not want him to. Elsewhere, a number of Naga organizations, besides the Nationalist Democratic Progressive Front, have begun to object to the proposed Uniform Civil Court Bill. And yes, congratulations to our Eastern uh, brothers there, that you will now have a separate administration that will best serve you. More on this later. Uh, before we go on to the top news picks from the previous week, uh, I'd like to remember the family of Panger Longkamer, a former journalist who passed away recently. He was a sub-editor at Eastern Mirror earlier. Panger was one of the coolest and funniest guys uh, my editor at Hornbill TV, Ato Nakro, and I ever worked with. He was the kind of a guy that really lit up the office, his jokes and the funny sounds he made like the background music he used to give when we walked by or when we talk or when he talked he was a very lovable guy he loved music especially uh, food, uh, rock and he loved sports and food with like uh, Panger's family especially his young wife his young widow and his child he is living he has left behind to now know that Panger was an extremely cool likable and a beloved person. Our condolences and our prayers that God will be your comfort and strength as you move on to build your lives anew. Here are the top news picks of the week. The biggest news of the previous week was not from Naglin or India, but halfway across the world. On Saturday, June 24, the Wagner Group, the mercenary army allied to the Russian army mounted a rebellion against the military, uh, the Russian military prompting a spat of tensions that threatened to escalate into a full-scale civil war in Russia. Of course, a clash of the Wagner Group and Russian President Vladimir Putin would have led Eastern Europe into a crisis far more consequential than the Russian-Ukraine war. The head of the Wagner Group had uh, vowed on Saturday then uh, that he would topple the Russian military leadership in the country. Since the declaration of the rebellion by the Wagner Group, military establishments of two cities were captured. The event could have easily become the most significant rebellion uh, and military event since Russia launched an offensive against Ukraine in February 2022. Interestingly, on June 25th, Wagner Group's mercenary leader Yevgeny Priokozin halted his dramatic advance towards Moscow and pulled his fighters back. This diffused what had become uh, the biggest threat to President uh, Vladimir Putin's grip on Russia in his almost quarter century rule if Wagner Group had not pulled back its fighters. Putin had personally guaranteed that Brikozin would be allowed to leave for neighboring Belarus. The report implied an agreement that the authorities would not hold him accountable and charge him for mutiny in exchange for him and his fighters withdrawing from Moscow. This was the biggest news event during the past one week. The leadership of the eastern districts in Naglen have accepted an autonomous administration for the area. The Eastern Naglen People's Organization, which represents seven tribes of the eastern Naglen areas, said that it has accepted the proposal of the government of India for the formation of a separate administration called the Frontier Naga Territory, without insisting on dividing uh, uh, dividing the present Nagaland state region. Hornbill TV has already discussed this, ladies and gentlemen. The moment we received a report 
a month ago that the center had already sent a proposal to the eastern organizations, we knew right away that there would be no separate state because creating a separate state is either a yes or a no. There are no proposals involved. Uh, it's good that the ENPO has decided that a separate state was not in the interest of the state considering the sentiments of the Naga people to keep the state and its communities united. There is too much happening in the Northeast region states, especially with the Manipur crisis still festering. Following the alleged refusal of Malwa village authorities in Medzibima subdivision, disallowing land buyers from settling or building on the land uh, bought from the village, a group of landowners had declared their full rights to develop or settle down in the land they bought. The Chate Valley Landowners Union in Medzipima had declared their absolute right to decide whether or not to develop their land, construct fences, buildings, or to settle down in their own land. This was apparently due to the village refusing settlements near the village. The union cautioned that Maova village would be held solely responsible if any structure belonging to members of the union was damaged. The union stated during the time that any form of provocation on the union's members by Maova village would elicit what the union called retaliation. The landowners union also upheld the notice of the CPO and the decision of the DP court. The copy of a resolution that we received here early stated. On the other hand, the village clarified the reports that the village council was preventing people who reportedly bought land from the village from developing or settling in the land they purchased. The Malwa Village Council issued a press release dated June 28 clarifying that the legal landowners in Malwa jurisdiction had every right to utilize their land as agreed upon at the time of transaction. The council had no objections to any kind of developmental projects and schemes. Uh, however, the council said the issue arose not from developmental issues but a program to establish a new colony within the village's jurisdiction on a petty field without any official uh, intimation or knowledge uh, of the council. Um, I think this was a very um, tense uh, moment for the communities there in Medzibima because with the Manipur issue happening, this could have easily turned into a communal issue and I hope they resolve the issue faster. Let's go on to the next news. India's opposition leader, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi met with people affected by the violence in Manipur. Gandhi was on a two-day trip to the state. He visited a relief camp in Churachanpur district on Thursday too. On Friday, the Congress leader visited relief camps in Moirang town and met with displaced families. Uh, he traveled there by a helicopter after his convoy was stopped by the police who cited security concerns for his safety. More than 100 people have been killed and 400 people have been wounded in the violence so far. Tens of thousands have fled their homes. Uh, clashes broke out after the state's main ethnic group, the Maitis, demanded a tribal status, scheduled tribe, which gives access to benefits such as forest land and government jobs and not to forget education quotas. The controversial Uniform Civil Court Bill is likely to be tabled in the monsoon session of the Parliament, which is set to begin next month, ladies and gentlemen. According to some reports, the bill may be sent to the Parliamentary Standing Committee, which will hear, uh, which will hear views uh, from various stakeholders. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Personnel, Public Grievances, Law and Justice has called representatives of the Law Commission and the Law Ministry on July 3rd 
on a recent notice issued by a law panel. The law commission has uh, had back then issued the notice seeking views of stakeholders on the issue of uniform civil code. Uh, Uttarakhand has already submitted the UCC for the state. Uh, back home in Nagaland, ladies and gentlemen, uh, various organizations are starting to raise their objections against implementing the uniform civil code in the state. The NBCC for instance, Ausenden, uh, are the ones states such as Jharkhand, Meghalaya and Tamil Nadu are already raising their objections in this regard. Goa is the only state in India which has a uniform civil code. Uh, the Goa family uh, law is a set of civil laws. It was originally the Portuguese civil code and continues to be implemented after its annexation in 1961. The Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party, which is allied with the PJB, has said that the Law Commission of India implementing the controversial Uniform Civil Code will have a negative impact on the freedom and the rights of minor minority communities besides the tribal people of India. In a statement earlier, the NDPP said the process of implementing the UCC is at its nascent stage for which the NDPP strongly urges the government of India and members of the 22nd Law Commission to consider the matter. Unrest and riots have continued in France for the fourth consecutive days, ladies and gentlemen. Tensions have spread in the French Caribbean territories as locals protest after a teenager was shot dead in a fatal police shooting in a Paris suburb on Tuesday, Friday 24th. With the looting fires and the firing of fireworks, Paris and its suburbs were plagued on Thursday by a new incident of violence after the death of uh, the teenager 17 identified as one now after being stopped for a traffic violation in the Paris suburb town of Nantes on Tuesday. The officer who is accused of shooting him was taken to jail. The worst violence so far was in uh, French Guyana where authorities said the police officers came under fire and that a stray bullet killed a 54-year-old government worker late Thursday in the capital Cayenne. Columns of thick black smoke rose from some neighborhoods in Cayenne, turning streets hazy as police tried to quell protesters in the small territory on the shoulder of South America. Authorities urged for calm as the territory uh, braced for another possible night of rioting, according to news reports. Officials said Friday that the man who was killed worked in the government's mosquito control office. During the day, the Minister of the Interior Ministry announced the exceptional mobilization of about 45,000 police personnel to prevent a fourth consecutive night of riots, the CNN reported. Those were the top news speaks from the previous week, ladies and gentlemen. Keep supporting us and keep watching Hornbill TV. We will be back with more news later. I'm Elmuli. See you next time.